New developments continue to take place on the front lines of Ukraine-Russia war. Recently, rare furious clashes have been taking place between Ukrainians and Russians. While both armies have suffered great losses, especially the losses of the Russian army, come to their fore. Since the beginning of the war, Russia's losses have reached terrible levels. There has been significant activity on the Kupiansk front in recent days. Russian army has chosen the Kupiansk front as the main focus of its offensive and has formed an assault group of eight Storm Z assault units. Colonel General Alexander Sirsky, commander of the ground forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, made important statements about the developments on the front. The enemy's goal is to break through the defense of our troops and advance directly to Kupiansk. The fighting is extremely intense right now. Some positions have changed hands several times in the past days, Sirsky said. Sirsky said that the Russian army was advancing from the Novosilisky and they tried to cut off the group of Ukrainian soldiers with a flank attack and encircle some units of the brigade holding the defense there but to no avail. Our soldiers bravely hold the defense and repel all attempts of the enemy to advance, Ukrainian commander said. At the same time, Sirsky visited the combat zone on the Kupiansk front. He said that he and the commanders discussed possible further Russian actions and options for the defenders. Sirsky said that all necessary decisions had been taken to guarantee to deterrence of the enemy and create the conditions for its further defeat. This includes, in particular, the reinforcement of military units with all necessary assets and personnel, he added. In another development, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky made remarkable statements regarding the attack in Pokrovsk, Russia. Zelensky stated that the second attack was organized after the rescue work started that it was deliberate. While nine people lost their lives in attack, 82 people were injured. Zelensky emphasized that Russia should take responsibility for these incidents and said that terrorists should be punished. Among those injured in the attack were police and rescue workers. How do you interpret the developments? What do you think about Ukraine's defense on the front line? We are waiting for your opinions. Also, for more news, continue by clicking on our video on the top right.